This is Tamman here doing what I love, and welcome to another episode of the 2020 NFL Weekly Prediction Series. Last episode we did Week 9, today we'll be doing Week 10. Before we get to Week 10, looking for my Week 9 predictions, I went 9 and 5, so 9 correct, 5 incorrect. For the ones I got incorrect, well, all of my AFC predictions were correct, the Patriots barely being the Jets, an exciting end in this game, Deshaun Watson looked great. But the Ravens did win against Indy. In terms of NFC versus AFC, I got all of them correct except for this Buffalo game where Josh Allen looked fantastic and the Bills ended up getting the win there. A lot of fun games here. Kansas City and Carolina were close. I was right about my upset with Miami over Arizona. The Steelers did win, but it was a bit closer than I thought. And the only NFC prediction I got correct was Green Bay over San Francisco. The Giants, Vikings won. I'm like, okay, I could see those, but I did not see the Saints winning by, I believe, 35 points. That was very surprising. So, of all, that is week 9, and we are already to week 10, everyone. I cannot believe it. This is probably the hardest week for predictions. Most of these games, I could see them going either way. We have a good amount of division games and the non-division games. The teams are pretty evenly matched up in my eyes, so... You know, some weeks I like to have some upsets here. I'm going to try to go on the stats, what the stats say, what the matchups say, not about momentum, just the matchups. So that takes us to Thursday night where we have the Colts and Titans, a really fun, hopefully, AFC South matchup. I'm going with the Titans. The Colts' defense is nice. They've been up and down the past couple of weeks, though, and I think Derrick Henry, Ryan Tannehill will do well. My main thing is, is that Phil Rivers has just been turning the ball over and this Titans offense doesn't. So I think it'll be close. I think it'll be like 24-17 Tennessee. I think it'll be a good game. I just think the Titans make less mistakes. A.J. Brown is looking fantastic. Johnny Smith. A lot of good pieces for this Tennessee team. We have another AFC South team of Houston against Cleveland here. I'm taking the Texans over the Browns. I know... I think Nick Chubb is coming back this week. I just really like Deshaun Watson. He's been playing really good recently. And in my opinion, he will get a win over the Browns. Baker Mayfield has made too many mistakes, in my opinion, this season. The Texans haven't. And Miles Garrett's been playing good. But, I mean, this Texans offensive line is not as bad as it used to be. And this Browns defense is not that great. I could see Cleveland winning, but I'm going Houston in one of those upsets. Um, I'm going with the Steelers here over the Bengals. Even if Big Ben is out, prayers to all players affected by injury. I hope they get better. But T.J. Watt and crew against this Cincinnati offensive line is not going to be fun. You know, the Bengals tend to play the Steelers tough, so I think it'll be close in the beginning. But I think Pittsburgh will pull away and get the win. I'm going with the Dolphins here over the Chargers, but I wouldn't be surprised either way. Justin Herbert versus Tua Tungavailoa. Last week, you know, we had the Dolphins and Cardinals. I think that will be a game that 10 years from now, I think both quarterbacks will be great. And be like, oh, remember that time Tua played Cal Murray? I think something's going to happen here. This is a really great game between two young quarterbacks. I just think the Dolphins' defense is great. They've played really well. I think it'll be close. I don't think this will be a runaway game. I could see the Chargers winning. The reason I'm not going it is that Herbert has turned the ball over at times, and this Dolphins' defense is good at creating turnovers. I'm going with the Raiders here. I think Las Vegas will beat Denver. I think this is the first time they've played this season, if I'm not mistaken. I just really like the Raiders. These past couple weeks have had some impressive wins. Derek Carr looking pretty nice. Drew Locke and the Broncos seem lost, unfortunately. Ravens, Patriots. I'm excited for this one, everyone. Lamar Jackson against Cam Newton. Lamar, Cam, Jackson, Newton. I think those are two players who have played very similar. Unfortunately, the past couple weeks, both of these players have not looked like their MVP season selves. I think this game will be a bit close, but the reason I have the Ravens winning is I think that this Patriots defense has missed a lot of pieces, unfortunately, due to injuring COVID, and I think that Lamar will have a nice game. I also think that Cam is athletic, and he's had some nice holiday plays this season, but he's been a very inconsistent passer, and I think the Ravens match up really well here. That is, I believe, the Sunday night game. Um... I think the Baltimore Ravens will win this one. I think it'll be close. I don't think it'll be a blowout. I would probably say if I had to go a score 23-16, 26-16, I think it'll be exciting, but I have Baltimore winning. 
AFC versus NFC, we only have two this week. Um, Jacksonville and Green Bay, um, I think this will be a close game. The Jaguars, a rookie running back, James Robinson, um, for me, is very talented, and the Packers struggle for run defense. But for me, whoever's starting a quarterback, whether it be Jake Luton, who did look good last week, or Gardner Minshew, I just trust Aaron Rodgers more. I think the Jaguars may put up 17 and the Packers go around 37 points, 37-14, 34-14, something like that. If you remember last year's game when the Packers played the Raiders, I have something similar like that. Packers win, but I think the Jaguars will put up a good fight. Um, I'm excited for this Bills-Cardinals game. Uh, Arizona, Buffalo, Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, Cole Beasley against Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, Christian Kirk. You know, you know, Larry Fitzgerald's there. I'm really excited for this game, and I think both teams are similar. I think that the Bills and Cardinals have both had, had great offensive performances, both have had great defensive performances, but I've not seen a single game by really either side against good competition. So I think this will be close. I was going to go with the Bills because they're coming off a big win over the Seahawks, but I'm going to end up taking the home team, the Cardinals. I think they're going to bounce back after a loss to Miami, another AFC East team. And I think Arizona is going to get the win in this one. I just think it'll be really close. I think it'll be um, kind of this game where maybe Buffalo goes up, say, 16-9 at half. The Cardinals come up winning 27-24. Um, I think that Josh Allen is great, but I think some of the out-of-pocket stuff, the Cardinals match up. Well, against, I just like Arizona a bit more in this matchup, but I think this is going to be potentially game of the week. All right, NFC here. Um, Eagles, Giants. The Giants have played competitively, and I think they have a chance to beat Philly. I think that the Eagles, you know, Carson Wentz turning the ball over. The Giants almost won a couple weeks ago, and I think they'll win this one. Washington and the Lions. Um, I'm going to go with Washington. The Lions have had a lot of injury issues. I've kind of been on this Lions hype train these past two weeks. I had them being the Colts and Vikings. I just don't think, and they lost both of those games. So I, you know, Washington, Alex Smith starting, they lost, but I think they'll win here. Buccaneers, Panthers, I'm going with Tampa Bay. I think Tom Brady and his crew are going to bounce back these next couple weeks. My friend Ben and I are going to talk about that in an upcoming episode of the podcast. And yeah, so I think the Buccaneers bounce back. I have the Seahawks beating the Rams. Um, I just like Seattle and Russell Wilson more than Jared Goff. There's been moments where Goff has looked great, but at times it's kind of just kind of hard to predict. I know Russell Wilson is coming off an off game. I think this will be close, but I'm taking Seattle. Saints, unfortunately for the Niners, they're just banged up. This was a really great game last year. Really close and exciting. I just like the Saints a lot in this matchup. And I think if you have Saints, start them in fantasy. You know, I'm not a fantasy expert, but I'm going with the Saints. Um, I think the, this this could be the potential blowout of the week. And then the Vikings-Bears. Um, I'm going with Minnesota. Dalvin Cook has looked fantastic. The Vikings are getting things together. Meanwhile, Chicago's offense looks very still and stagnant. So, of all, everyone, that is my Week 10 predictions. A lot of these games I could see going either way. The ones I'm for sure about are the Saints one. The Packers won, and that's and the Raiders won, and probably the Ravens won, even though I could see New England winning. The rest of these, I could see them going either way. So that's what I'm going here for this week. Should be a fun week. In terms of fantasy here, I did a lot of my moves off screen. Um, in this league, I am 5-4, and four, second in the East. Big Ben, um, oh, he is out. Oh, okay, well, let's just uh, let's put Aaron Rodgers there. I thought it was questionable. He's out. We have Dalvin Cook starring James Robinson. DJ Chark, who has been doing pretty good. Chase Claypool against that Bengals defense. Do I want to maybe start someone else, though? Huh. Let me see. Let me actually move Tyler. Well, if Big Ben's not the quarterback, do I trust Mason Rudolph? I do not. I want to move, actually, Tyler Lockett there. And then we're actually going to have Antonio Gibson against this Lions run defense that has been... Not the best. So I'm going to do that. TJ Hawkinson and then the Titans defense against the Colts. Ryan Suckup. Overall, I like this team. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I'm actually going to put Cooper Cup. There we go. Cooper Cup. I like that. Cooper Cup. Seahawks defense is poor. Packers run defense not the best. James Robinson, Dalvin Cook. I like this team. I'm really betting on this Packers-Jaguars game. Hoping there's a lot of high scoring. 
But I do think TJ Hawkinson and the rest of the crew could have good games. So that is this league here. And this is a big game here. If I can win this, I think with the way fantasy works, this will be really nice. Um, this other one, I did win. Um, I do have some moves to make here at running back. Um, I don't know if Nick Chubb is coming back this week, but um, I, I did make some moves up pending in transactions. I think um, I got another quarterback starting. Um, we have T. Higgins, Justin Jefferson, Johnny Smith. Um, is Nick Chubb coming back? I don't know. I'm just going to put him there in case he does and I forget to move this. So we got Nick Chubb there. But overall, that's what I have here for this game. And that's guys going to do it for week 10 here. Fantasy news updates, predictions. Let me know what you guys think. Until then, this is Mintaman Doing Love. Take care and have a fantastic day.